Hey, what's going on guys? So now that I've had a chance to play some Iron Banner, get me some packages, I finally got a chance to get some gear, and the first piece of gear that I got was this SMG you see here in my hands. This SMG is definitely one of the new top tier ones, if I had to guess, because just on its range alone, it puts it almost in auto rifle levels of range. Now the accuracy will not compare to an auto rifle at mid range. However, you will see a lot less damage fall off. So on the lucky shots you might be getting, you're still going to get a decent amount of damage up to a certain degree. Now you're not going to get it fully into mid range or even closer to long range. You're not going to get any damage beyond like six or seven per shot. So don't feel like you can just kind of like push your luck on somebody across the map. It's not going to work that way. However, if you are up close and personal, if you're in a lot of hallways and doorways, this is a pretty good thing to have in your hands. If you like to run up into people's faces and shoot them and you don't really have any shotgun ammo, again, very good choice to have. This has got all the makings of potentially being part of the meta. However, we all know that SMGs are definitely not quite as powerful all around than auto rifles and scout rifles. So I'm not trying to say it's going to depose those two weapon types, but as far as SMGs go, this is definitely one of the top ones. So like I said earlier, the range on this is exceptionally high for an SMG. This is pretty high, even maybe for an auto rifle. I've seen auto rifles with less of a range stat on this bar than this SMG does. So definitely a potent SMG to say the very least. It fires 900 rounds per minute and has a 33 round magazine. And you will figure out very quickly that the magazine feels a little bit short. It feels like it doesn't have enough ammo in there because you will spit it all out within seconds, if even that. I've noticed that there are certain gunfights where if I don't have all my shots land, I'm going to have to reload in the middle of the gunfight. And sometimes that does get me killed. So keep that in mind when you're using this gun. Its intrinsic perk is adaptive frame, a well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy. You have the choice of either an SLO 10 post, SPO 28 front, or an SPO 26 front. I chose the SPO 28 because of the extra range. And extra range in this meta definitely is... A blessing because extra range means you can be further away and still get a lot of damage. The only problem with this SMG at range is that when you're right at the edge of its range, you may not see as much damage fall off, but you will see a huge problem with accuracy. Your rounds are going everywhere and it's really hard to keep all your shots on target. So make sure you're as close as possible when you're using this. You also have either high cal rounds or drop mag, but let's face it, everyone's going to be picking high cal rounds because it is literally the best perk in the game right now. So of course, that's why I have it picked. And his trait is Threat Detector. Increased reload, stability, and handling when enemies are in close proximity. Now, I have yet to really feel a difference with this perk on. However, I have felt that despite its shortcomings, this SMG performs very well for what it is, and I would highly advise you to keep this on you. As far as how useful this is in PvE, I haven't gotten to try it out just yet. I literally just got the gun a few minutes ago. So, I would imagine that it basically as useful as a Royal Dispensation would be in PvE because it's got all the same perks pretty much. And pretty much the same stat archetype. It's basically the same gun. In fact, it's literally the same gun because all this is is basically a reskin of that exact same model of SMG. Which I feel is kind of a missed opportunity on Bungie's part. They really could have gone a little bit further above and beyond with these guns. Because we got something more diverse and unique in year 3 of Destiny 1 than we have currently in Destiny 2. Now I'm not sure if this is part of their plan where they start off with just reskins and then progressively make them more unique over the years. Maybe that was their idea, but I feel like they missed an opportunity here to really give some personality to these guns. I feel like they could have done something to make them more unique, make them look cooler or just sound differently like they did in year three of Destiny 1. I feel like that would have been a better direction to take with weapon design and I feel like that would have made the rewards a lot more satisfying even though they would probably function the same as just your average guns but with better stats maybe but it would make them feel a lot better if they looked a little bit different and sounded really cool. That would have just topped it all off. But regardless, still great SMG. Still like Destiny. Still going to be playing a lot of Destiny. Uh, let me know what you guys have been getting in Iron Banner so far. If you guys have a full armor set or if you guys have found some other gun that's just amazing. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. GG.